Hey everyone, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. If you haven't seen Pittsburgh Penguin Jared McCann's zone entry recently, well take a look. If you have, take another look as it's something spectacular. In all the years I've been around the game of hockey, I've never seen a player utilize the space off the ice to enter the offensive zone, split the D, and get a quality shot on net. Have you ever seen anything like it before? Did he intend to make this play prior to it happening? How the heck am I supposed to know? I've never even heard of the kid. Calm down, I was just asking the question. Anyways, let me see if I can break this play down so you can uncover Mr. McCann's thought process during this amazing display of puck juggling by someone other than Sidney Crosby on the Penguins. So who is Jared McCann and where did he come from? This Stratford, Ontario native was a first round pick, 24th overall to the Vancouver Canucks in the 2014 NHL entry draft. He played 69 games for Vancouver before being traded to the Florida Panthers for three seasons and is currently a member of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Prior to making his NHL debut in 2015, he spent three years playing junior hockey with the Sioux Greyhounds where he put up 82 goals and 105 helpers for 187 points in 184 games. That's pretty good! I did a little search on YouTube to find out if this high-end point producer ever had a play similar to the juggling exhibition he displayed against the Florida Panthers. I watched clip after clip of him playing juniors and in the NHL and there's no Swedish in this guy, he's all Finnish. This kid has an uncanny ability to put the puck in the back of the net and at times in spectacular fashion. So what possessed Mr. McCann to decide to do what I call a full zone tappy tappy? Let's take a look again. McCann creates a turnover on a soft pass to the middle where he stabs at the puck which resulted in it being popped up into the air. From there, he keeps the play alive by doing what I call freestyling. At a moment's notice, he just did what came natural by tapping the puck in the air, splitting the D, and getting a grade A scoring chance on the Florida netminder. That was a sweet little sequence, ladies and gentlemen. So how does someone prepare for a situation like that? Though I've never met Jared McCann or seen him practicing on or off the ice, I can guarantee you this, that he's logged a lot more hours than most hockey players with this in his hand playing around with these guys for years. The McCann juggling act was just a series of individual skills that he strung together in an instant, resulting in one of the coolest hockey plays I've ever seen. So are you interested in learning how you can prepare for a similar situation in one of your upcoming games? Here are some drills that I had the players I regularly work with do shortly after the McCann juggling sequence. That should keep you busy for a little while. Now what most people saw was McCann popping the puck up in the air, tapping it with the forehand five times before batting it to the net. But in taking a closer look, the fifth one wasn't a tap, it was a bump from the lower hand. Now what makes this so rare was how he put the puck right into his wheelhouse to get a quality shot on net. I didn't know how challenging it was until I worked on it with a few players. We'd pop the puck up, tap it in the air, then to the bottom hand and bump it back to the forehand, continuing to tap or bat it to the net. What makes this so difficult is that the thumb of the glove is rounded. So if the puck is not perfectly centered when it hits it, it will drop off on the side resulting in losing control of the puck. Give it a try. It's tough to string a few in a row. After you do, you'll soon realize how crazy good the McCann play was. Well, that's a wrap for this video. If you're looking for ways to improve your stick skills, but you don't live in Minnesota where we can train together, don't worry, as Coach has got you covered, just check out my online off-ice stick handling and shooting program at onlinehockeytraining.com and become a member today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.